Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's that time of the week again, when we sit down with our family, friends, loved ones, those we care most about, and we talk about the things that really matter. But mostly, we just talk about horror pictures. This week on the Johnny Horror Show, I wanted to steer clear of the comedic element of things and talk about the idea of fear and what really scares us as individuals. So, unfortunately, this week's episode will not be featuring me dressing up like a buffoon and running around like a jackass. I felt it would take away from the tone of the piece and really be destructive to the idea of what we were trying to... <laughs> what? I'm, I'm sorry, what? Oh no, not that clip. We're doing it? We're gonna run it? Cool? No, 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 no. Go for it. Yeah, no, no. I don't give two shits. Just roll the damn clip. No, man, I don't want to do this. Shit. What an excellent day for an exorcism. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I sign up for this bullshit anyways. <laughs> Stupid and dumb, and I don't want to do this. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. Why can't you guys ever let me do something cool? <laughs> what an excellent day for the Johnny Horror Show. As horror fans, we find ourselves put in this awkward position of really loving horror movies, but not being scared by them anymore. Every now and then, you get something that hits that nerve, and it hits it so well that it doesn't ever leave. Now, for me, that is the demon creature Pazuzu, specifically his appearance in the feature film The Exorcist. Given the material we're gonna cover today, some of the crew deemed it necessary to bring in a priest to bless the set. The power of Johnny compels you. There were a couple of different inspirations for how this face came into being. First and foremost, I know that uh, William Friedkin was inspired by the mask in the Japanese horror film Onibaba. I think that's how you pronounce it. I might be butchering it. A face of fear to inspire fear. Also, the makeup design for the Pazuzu face came from a rejected design for uh, Reagan's possessed face. That's basically how the creation of this terrifying face came into being. I bump into this face all the time. It's always on my Instagram feed. It's always in my life. I have dreams about it all the time. One specific dream that really did me in, I could not sleep for weeks. And I'd probably, probably been asleep for maybe, I don't know, like a couple hours. Anyways, I wake up, it's three in the morning, right? Of course, three in the morning. Oh shit. Hey guys, we lost power. We lost the power. Um, shit. Just give me a flashlight, man. We can keep on rolling, man. Just, I don't want your lip, man. Don't give me any lip. I don't want it. Just give me a fucking flashlight. Thank you. I go to bed, I wake up. When I wake up, first thing I do is I grab my phone and see what time it is. Of course, it's 3.15. 3.15, if you know anything about that, that's the time that Jesus died. Jesus died at 3.15 p.m. So the demons come out at 3.15 a.m. to mock him. So it's 3.15 and I don't, Try not to think anything of it. I always think something of it, but I'm just like, you know what? I'm too tired. I'm going back to sleep. And I go to put my phone down, right? And as I put my phone down, it slips. And when it slips, it goes and it hits the ground. And then, as it hits the ground, Pazuzu's face shoots up at me. And then I'm terrified. And I Holy shit! 
at the end of the day, yes, I've had some pretty terrifying encounters with Pazuzu. And I think more than anything, it's gotten inside my brain. Nothing has affected me quite like this. Um, something about that face, there's something primal and just pure evil about it. So if that's the only way that I can really be scared is every time I wake up in the middle of the night, I think about that face, then you know what? I'll take it. It's a small price to pay for an awesome, awesome scare. I just want to say thank you. I again asked a lot of you the things that scared you and you guys opened up and you told me all about it. From Carrie, I got an unlocked window, uh, 1965 film by Alfred Hitchcock, which I've never seen, so that kind of makes me want to go watch it now, so that's exciting. From Rachel, I got The Haunting, uh, the original Haunting film, the old black and white one, which is an excellent film. From Miranda, the original Paranormal Activity film, which is pretty scary. And if you haven't commented yet, please do comment and let me know because I'm planning on doing more of these segments. More shit that scares me and it's gonna be a lot of fun. As always guys, thanks for listening. I hereby absolve you of all your sins. They can't help Mary's, they can fuck you too.